Hello everyone and welcome to episode 62 of Let's Play Diablo 2. We're going to go further and deeper into hell. Dun dun dun. Hell waits. Join us. Join us. Except they say it backwards. It's like yeah. Sunny Odd or something. Sunny Odd. Sunny Odd. Sunny Odd. I was, I, I remember when, um, I was fucking around with my cousin's 3DS, and there's that one that, um, that, the recording thing that's on there, one of the apps that's on the 3DS, and I yeah. did that, and I played it, like, I got my iPod, and I stuck it to the mic on the thing, and I recorded it on the 3DS, and played it backwards, and you get to hear all the, the glory that is, join us, and it's actual, like, not reversed for him. Uh, I used to have that album on vinyl. Hello, Eights. Yeah, like there, there's a picture disc at Second, Second and Charles, but I was like, I don't like picture discs, so I'm not gonna buy it. It's like thirty fucking dollars too. I've got uh, well, picture discs are usually pretty expensive because they're rare. And I don't, I don't, I don't like them anyway, but. I have a couple picture discs. Oh, I got I got one. It's the Pig Destroyer seven inch picture picture disc. It, it just has the songs from one of their splits on it. It's old, out of print. I've got uh, the uh, Leprosy remaster picture disc. I got the regular. Is that the um, the new one? The new remaster? Yeah, yeah I got yeah. the I got the regular black vinyl for mine. That's what I I wanted, but I couldn't order it. It wouldn't yeah. let me order it. That's stupid. They they also had this cool like purple pink splatter color which sold out really quick, but that looked really cool. So or did sure. you uh, did you uh, reserve uh, Napalm Death Peel sessions? Yep. Cool. Because because like I I think I told you just told you this before, but like the fucking the peel the um, the 1988 or 89 peel sessions is like the best of Lee um, era Napalm in my opinion. I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of that. Like the Peel sessions are the best thing the band's ever done. Because it's like it, it's really loud, really aggressive, and most of the recordings on that are better than the ones on the Scum and on from Enslavement. Like to be honest, like the the quality is kind of better. No, it's kind of rough, but it still sounds good, you know. But and all the and then there's also Peel sessions from 1990, which I haven't heard yet, and that's going to be on that that new LP as well. Like, all the Peel Sessions are going to be on there, so... Because they, they could fit both the original Peel Sessions on one side because of how short the songs were. Yeah. Well, Peel Sessions were usually short sets anyway. Yeah. And I, oh, and I also pre-ordered the, um, the slime color, which is the green one. The green with that weird splatter thing, whatever. I For those that don't know what the Peel, se what Peel Sessions are... There, in the UK, there was a guy uh, that played on BBC One, a radio DJ, who would invite the more extreme artists out there to come in, record very short, like three or four song live sets. And, yeah, his, John, John Peel, was that his name? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, 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 he would get like bands like Napalm Death, Carcass, Lecture Hippies, and just to name a few, were some of the bands that they did Peel Sessions for. I think there was also um, Extreme Noise Terror also did one, I think, but I'm not sure. I think so. Because I remember, yeah, I think, it, I think they did. And he's, like, famous for this, and those live recordings are what are called the Peel Session. He's dead now, so he doesn't oh, yeah. do them anymore, so... It's kind of like a commodity or something. Yeah. Like, those, the original LP versions, like, the original LP Peel Sessions of those bands are really rare and... kind of sought after, in a way. It's kind of cool to, to, like, have... Oh! Oh my god, I'm getting raped. <laughs> hey, what were you saying? I don't remember. Something about, uh... I think this, uh... 
I think this Earache thing is a remastered version of the PL oh, really? Sessions. I think it's part of their high dynamic range, uh, full dynamic range remastering. So, they, they may do Carcass then, too. I would be okay with this. Even though I like Melodic Death Metal Carcass better. Yeah, because... Because I don't, I don't know, I don't know what year that Carcass Peel Sessions were. I think it was, it was probably when their first album came out, probably or it was second maybe. Because it wasn't, it wasn't the third probably. I don't think it was. The, it was, it was early on. It wasn't too late. Just die already! Good lord! Oh my god. My inventory is now full. Oh my god, you're annoying! How the hell did you get... Ah! Great, I can't get to my body from over here. I have to go all the way around this stupid thing. No, don't you attack me! He's over this way. Greater healing. Greater healing. So yeah, and also in the new Wolfenstein game, like there's like sometimes there's turrets, and then you can actually like take the turret off of its like stand thing and just carry it around with you and then shoot everybody with it. That's pretty sweet. Hell yeah. I don't remember what his name was, like Grubermeister or something. So yeah, some stupid crap. I can make a fucking flawless sapphire. I still got a fucking Mephisto Soul Stone, which. I should still have anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll be using Mephisto Soulstone later. The smash it. Yeah, we're going to smash <laughs> it. <laughs> In case you die and have to resurrect your dude. Oh, I kind of forgot I could give my guy swords. And there's rare swords I sold a long time ago. I just totally fucking forgot. It'll happen. Cause I, cause I'm so used to giving my my partner a bow and arrow, but he doesn't use those. Yep. He shoots fireballs out of his sword.
kill them poison bitches. I got antidote. I don't need an antidote. The poison barely affects me. I wish, could, I, I wish I could say the same. Actually, yeah, I think my poison resistance is pretty good, so... Mine at 75. Mine's, um... 46. How the hell do we get in there? There's got to be a way into this fenced-off area. Here we go. These morphine characters here are interesting. They eat corpses and spit them back out at you. <laughs> that is so fucking metal. Isn't it? <laughs> Does that make them corpse grinder? Oh yeah. It's kind of funny that uh, on their first album, Massacre covered that song. I don't. I'm not even. Did the song Corpse Grinder even make it on a screen, Buddy Gore? Uh, nope. I didn't think so. Well, uh, the members of Massacre were in ah. death at one point, so. Oh god. Where the hell is my body? There it is. I guess it kind of makes sense for them to oh, cover. There's that. enemies. So. There's enemies around my body. But yeah, they cover the song "Corpse Grinder," which I'm sure some of those members actually played on that. Yeah. That song too, on the demo. Um, they also covered a song on In Inhuman Condition. They covered uh, Warhead by Venom. Everybody covers that song. And they had... Uh, oh, it's a good song, but... Um, yeah. They had... Um, uh, Kronos do the lead vocals on it. Which means there's almost no difference between how it sounds and how the original sounds. <laughs> it's kind of like how Gorephobic Nosebleed got Dan Lilcord to play bass and do vocals for Hank, the Hang the Pope cover. That's on their uh, Gorephobic's second album. God, who did original? Who originally did that song? I'm trying to remember. Nuclear Assault. Oh yeah. This that was Dan Lilcord's band after he left. Um, after he got kicked out of Anthrax. Yeah, Nuclear Assault's awesome. Uh, um, Joel Grind covered that song on his demo. Is it his solo band or Toxic, Toxic Holocaust? Holocaust? Oh. He covered it on the Toxic Holocaust demo. Which one? Like, oh, there's like a bunch of them. Whichever one it was that I uploaded to my YouTube channel. Oh. Which I have started uploading the uh, the Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny demo by yeah, Mr. I saw Bungle. It. I saw you post Grizzly Adams yesterday. I'm gonna post the second song later. I just haven't uploaded it yet. <sighs> I've rendered it. I just haven't uploaded okay. it. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot different from their fucking other stuff. That's for damn sure. Yeah, it sounds like a mix of. Death metal, thrash metal, uh, hardcore punk, and a little bit of ska here and there. Yeah. I listened to the entire thing. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, to be expected from Mr. Bungle. Even their death metal stuff's weird. I'm not entirely convinced that it's death metal enough to post in the death metal group, but... Close enough. It's good. Yeah. But I found a uh, a band called Ghost from uh, Poland. 
that oh, is yeah. death metal. And they were around in like '89. I downloaded their demo, and it's from '89. So, I mean, this this dates back to when death metal first started. Yeah. Or near the beginning, anyway. I mean, there was a few albums out before then. Like Seven Churches and... Uh, yeah, Seven Churches and Leprosy and Scream Bloody Gore and, um... Uh... Necrophages... Or Necrophages' first album, Season of the Dead. Death Strikes album, but I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. We finally found a waypoint. It really is just as valid of an answer. Yeah. Because the, uh, all three bands started releasing material in 84. Uh, Possessed had their first album out in 85. Here is the uh, entrance to the River of Flame. Or the River Styx, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Might as well be the river sticks. Yeah. There's also always like debate about like which, like when grindcore started because there's some bands. Well, there's yeah, there's some bands from like the early '80s that have like that whole like blast beat thing, that really fast drumming and stuff. Like there's there's some punk punk bands that have that sound. Yeah, like but, uh, um, oh god, what was the name of the punk band that did Police Bastard? Oh, I can't. I don't know. God, what are they called? Uh, the, their first album of War is Big Business is on my channel, and I can't even remember what they're called. Huh. I found more enemies to kill. Doom. Oh, they were Doom. Called Doom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Doom. Yeah, Doom's really cool. They have an almost grindcore kind of funky sound to them. Yeah, they're like, um, they're like... Crust punk. They're the yeah, other crust. I was gonna, yes, I was thinking of that. Like Nausea's Crust. Um, can't really think of that many crust bands, to be honest. I don't know that much about crust. I've never, I've never explored much in the way of punk. Yeah, like there's also power violence, which are, there's some really cool power violence bands. It's pretty like power power violence is pretty much just grindcore, but it's not like it's like it's just pretty much punk, but it's like more grindcore, more metal than punk, but it's not grindcore. It's hard to explain. It really it really blurs the line between grindcore and punk. It has like fast drums and stuff, but. Okay, and we are, uh... Done with this area. Did I just hear another enemy? I'm gonna walk over here. And call it. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. It will be greatly appreciated and we will talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye.